Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So we are headed to get our passport. Um, I may be going out of the country for my job and my supervisor's like, girl, I need you to go ahead and get that passport. So I'm gonna go in the Walgreens and um, get the picture. I filled out the information so we will get that done and then I want to um, I need to get something to eat mr. B is at home today he is sick he caught what I got and it didn't help that he was actually out working in the elements and it was raining and then he was going in and out of his truck so that didn't help so yeah so he is at home um, but he still has an appetite, so that's good. So I'm going to get us something to eat. Um, don't know what it's going to be. Then I'm going back home to work. And um, so, yeah, so I need to get all this done on my lunch break. All right, so let's go. So tomorrow is weigh-in day. So I get up early in the morning go and weigh in, stay for my meeting. I really like going to the Weight Watchers meeting and I like it because you learn different tips and things that work for other people that you might want to try, different foods and things like that. And um, it definitely keeps you accountable because you really don't want to go in there and you have not done what you were supposed to have done for the week. Now this week, I have to admit, I was off and on. There was a day that I went crazy. It was one of those days I felt like <clears throat> that time of the month was coming, but she didn't. And so, you know, that menopause thing right here, but it had me wanting to eat everything like it was that time. And so um, I wanted some donuts. I went and got some Krispy Kreme. I probably ate total maybe like five Krispy Kremes in like three days, two or three days. And I have, we had, and then Mr. B ate some. That's fine. But then I have two left. I put those in the freezer because I'm not about to go into the freezer and, and eat them like that. So I was like, let me put these away. So when I got on the scale, <clears throat> the scale says the same thing. Um, but I'm hoping that I made up for it yesterday and today um, with what I ate. I ate very well both of those days. So that is, oh, and I didn't tell you guys, the so last week's weigh-in, I was down 5.2 pounds. Very, very good, if I must say so myself. Down 5.2 pounds and of course probably that was just water weight so now we'll start getting off the other weight but I'm happy I'm very happy with that and I contributed that to me definitely tracking everything that I ate I track and um and that's the thing you know with Weight Watchers you can eat whatever you want it want to just know after you are done with your daily points you have your weekly points that you, you can go into if that is what you want to do um, and it's encouraged to go into, into your weeklies. But after, you know, you, you only have so many weekly points and then, you know, you, you, you run out, okay? So, um, I still have some weekly points, but, um, Saturday is generally my day that I start over. My week starts over on Saturday. So, Saturday is the day that I really, I just eat what I want and then we start Sunday right so I have made it back home gonna go up here get some things done and then I will see you guys later I don't know if I'll see you later today um, I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys me cleaning you guys have seen that before a lot of I've had people ask for clean with me's and things like that um I've tried to sprinkle in a little bit here and there so I might sprinkle in a little bit in this um 
vlog. And I want to know how you guys liking the vlogs. You know, um, I think it's a way for you to um, really get to know me, like what's going on with me, what I'm doing, um, things that I have going on. And um, I got some, oh yeah, I got some other stuff I need to show with you guys. So I will be back. I will be back after I get off of work. I just thought about something. I'm talking about all that. And I was like, oh yeah, don't forget. You need to show them these these things that you that you're doing. So yeah, garage door going down. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute. I went into the office three times this week. This is one of the outfits that I wore. The pants are actually a part of a suit. I love cords where you can mix and match. So I took the suit pants with the white um, button down shirt that I had. And then I'm going to wear these black shoes that I picked up from JCPenney to share those with you um, over the Christmas holiday. This jacket is also part of a two-piece set. The bottoms are actually short. This is from Shein. And guys, this outfit turned out so cute. I decided to um, put on my poodle pin here because you know she's a pretty poodle. And we have our sunnies here. Love these sunglasses. These are from Shein. Also, guys, Shein brings it every time. Have my Teddy Blake bag. And your girl is off to work. All right. So, um, I just received a delivery from Timu. Okay, Timu. And so, let me show you what I um, got from them. So, y'all know Timu is an online marketplace. You can find anything um that you're looking for at timu and they have like amazing um sales on there so if you're looking for um anything specific you can definitely find it on the timu from clothing shoes housewares jewelry um crafting supplies all of that you can find at timu so let me see I honestly forgot what I requested. So, also I have like three boxes here. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see what this one is. Oh, okay, yes. So, this is home decor. And I thought these were so cute when I saw them. So this is one. It's a cute little um like iron uh, metal excuse me um candle holder. Really cute. I thought this was very um modern. And um I thought I was like, ooh. There's so many places that I could use this. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. To sneeze. So, I think I have, I bought this with this was, um, a small, medium, and large. Let's see. And I think this would be cute, cute, cute really nice if you had um, some shelving would be great on um, your coffee table, a side table. So, is this smaller than that one? Yes. So, this one is smaller than that one. And then this one here is the large. Really cute. Um, look like it's, it's made out. It's a nice quality. It's not heavy, um, but it is a it's a decent quality for the price. I want to say all three of these was like thirteen dollars, I believe, and this is the large one. 
And I was when I saw these, I was like, oh yes, this is right up your alley. So the small, medium, and large candle holder. And so let me get a get one of my candles so you can see what this looks like. Okay, these right here don't have the lights in them. I think, oh, this one does. Okay, let's see, is this one? It could be, the battery could be dead. Okay, so this one doesn't. The battery has died on this, but look. This is what that looks like. Isn't that nice? I think this is so pretty. And the large one, like that really nice very very nice okay very nice so like I said I think this was like $13 I will have it down in the um, description box if you are interested so that you can um, get you the set yeah that was a good deal okay I'm not I'm not mad at that at all then the next thing that I picked up here oh these are some curtain top excuse me curtain tie backs and you get two of them like this and this is in black and so this twist I guess Oh, it's magnetized. Look at that. And then you just wrap it around your curtain like this, and then you magnetize it like that. Really nice, really nice. I got two of these. The price of this, I think it, it was not expensive at all. I don't remember the price, but yeah, look at that. Those are so nice, and it's made of this, um, like a tassel like type material and this part right here is, is magnetized like i stated but it's heavy like that great ideas timu i tell you a lot of these um decorative pieces and things that they offer are things that um aren't necessarily available here and so when you see like how they have um, revamped this and you're like, huh, that was very smart. You know, this seems like it would have been something that would have already been in use over here in, um, in the States. Okay, now the next one I'm so excited about and it is a napkin holder. And so like your Kleenex. So I need to get a box of Kleenex and you just put the box inside here and you put the box inside there and then you can just pull the Kleenex out now this looks like I don't know what size box that this is gonna have to be but um, I'm gonna figure this out because oh and it's oh it snaps. So this is how you you put the box in. It snaps open. You put the and that looks like a small box, and then it snaps close here, and then you have the Kleenex coming out through here. I thought this was so cute and 
And on the front, it says, enjoy your life, sunshine and happiness. Love this color. And I loved it. I liked it so much. I got it in black also. This will be great in the guest room, in the bedroom, um, in a bathroom, um, on your desk, at work, especially this time of year. And this one says the same thing. But I thought it was it was just simply adorable. Now, I did think it would have been a little bit longer. So, I'm going to have to see what kind of Kleenexes, Kleenex box can go in here. Or if I would just take the um, tissues out and then just pull it. And you can just pull it out that way. Either way, it is cute. So, those are all the items that I want that I have to share with you from our friends over at Timu. Once again, I will link everything down in the description box. If I have um, a discount code, that will be linked down there also, or the links will give you the discount for the item, okay? So this is it. It's a very small little Timu haul. Y'all know I don't need nothing. But I thought those items were cute. And you will see me styling them up in an upcoming video. All right. So, with no further ado, it's time for us to start cooking, y'all. We're going to go ahead and make dinner. Come on. So, for dinner tonight, we're going to have, like, a bowl. And so, I have my onions and bell peppers simmering here in the pan. I'm chopping up some mushrooms. And um, I'm going to, like, saute everything in that pan with a little bit of oil. And once everything is caramelized, I'm going to take it out and put it to the side. So, this is what that looks like, okay? So, in our pan here, I still have some of those juices. I am adding this ground chicken. I am loving this ground chicken. This one is from Aldi's and it's by Purdue. And, guys, it is so good. And so, I'm just going to chop the chicken up and season it. And then we will commence to the next step in the in for the ingredients that are going to our into our bowl. Over to the side, I have um, I'm simmering some corn as well as um, some black beans. You see, I'm adding these in these different seasonings for my chicken, and I'm just gonna saute it really well until it is thoroughly cooked. One thing I did add, because it's a Mexican dish, I, am, I added a little bit of cumin, and this is what our ground chicken looks like. Guys, this is so good. So I um, steamed up some white rice. You can use brown rice. Brown rice was actually more points. White rice for one cup was five points. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my veggies. Um, then we're going to add in a little bit of a corn so the corn is three points then i'm going to add the black beans and then everything else that we're adding until this bowl is going to be zero points the black beans are zero points and then i'm going to add a fourth of a cup of the um avocados i'm loving those avocados i went back to my um aldi's bought two more bags of them then you see i'm adding lettuce here to buff it up and i'm gonna add some jalapenos this is what the bag of um frozen avocado chunks look like that's the fourth of a cup Add a little bit of Greek yogurt, zero points. And some salsa, zero points. And this is going to be my, I think it's a six point meal. Very, very good. And actually there was a day that I over ate and I took out the rice and just had all the meat and the vegetables and everything. That was a zero point meal. So this was really, really good. We were very full. 
it was um enough for us to take for a couple of days. You could take it for lunch and we had it for another day for dinner and our week was good. Um, I can't wait to tell you about this week's weigh-in so to hear about how I did in an upcoming video. Um, just stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Wani, and welcome to Wani's house. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. You can also check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house. Hit the follow button so you will be aware of what is happening over here at Wani's house. All right, guys, so I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.